Well, hello. So today we're going to speak about homophobia and the various different aspects of homophobia. So what is homophobia? Homophobia, as we know it, is mostly the fear of homosexuals, whether they be gay men or lesbians. Now, why do people fear homosexuals? Various different elements. The reason they will tell you is because they fear that homosexuals are going to infect their homosexuality into society and the children are going to come out homosexuals that perhaps their homosexuality energy may infect other people and they may turn homosexual so those kind of fears of the, the, that the homosexual is going to somehow it assault a person you know that they're going to assault them or they're going to think that they're going that they're homosexual but just so many different fears of what the homosexual can do to the straight <laughs> based on the bible based on different elements based on you know the interpretation of the bible and those and, and those all those elements so on a spiritual level what is the fear of the homophobia the fear of the homophobe the homo is the fear a homo is human yourself as a whole so it's literally the word is fear of yourself of the self so what does it mean to fear to fear of someone's desire to just be whether they want to and perhaps even homo is because it's aligned to the self it's not just a sexuality thing it's more about just being yourself whether you like men whether you like women whether you like you know that one man or that one woman you know all those kind of elements whether you don't like anybody whether you like robots oh Ooh, what was that what just happened i think there was like some kind of electrical thing that just happened right so all those things man when i said robots eh? <laughs> so all those elements come into play right so how do we transform as a society oh is that the thunders uh how do we transform as a society and where it so wh why am i talking about this <laughs> got distracted a little bit why am i talking about this because I was playing Plants vs. Zombies, which I shouldn't have, because I made a video about how addicted I am to Plants vs. Zombies, which I'm not anymore. <laughs> so, uh, because now it, I've given, been given a reason as to not play that particular game. I was playing against an opponent, and their name happened to be No Homo Allowed. And I was just like, is that name even allowed in the game? Like, that kind of sucks, right? Cause when I think of children, when I think of maybe a homosexual child that's trying to, like you know, overcome their depression. So they're playing plans for the zombies and all of a sudden no homo allowed and they're like, ah, no, you know, those kind of things. So that particular energy that plans for the zombies, the pop cap, the company would allow that name. So I tweeted at them once and I was just like, didn't hear anything. And they usually pretty responsive. Tweeted them again, nothing. And then I tweeted them a third time and I was hoping for a response. But I didn't hear or get a response. And then I realized that this is something that I need to deal with. Because there's kids that are committing suicide because of no homo allowed. That kind of energy. That kind of frequency that has been given to humanity. And as someone who likes men and women, I find beauty in men. And I find beauty in women. And, I find, and I'm sexually attracted to a man. Maybe two. <laughs> three. And a woman, maybe two, three, you know, those kind of things. So um, that's my journey. That's my particular journey. And you, as the viewer, you can accept it, not accept it. It doesn't give, I don't give a, you know, if you accept it, not accept it. Because I have a connection with the light of the creator that it overrides anything that you may say or believe or judge or anything. And actually, if you actually judge me, for my journey and the journey that I'm seeking to go through in conjunction to the light of the creator you will get curses yeah it happens all the time <laughs> I don't know if it happens to everybody you know but I know that I'm very well protected like an army of angels that will just swoop on in you know against my opponents so I don't I have a certain kind of super chutzpah you know, super kind of like ego, it's <laughs> some may say, which can be transformed into humility and beautiful light energy, but all that kind of stuff. So, 
it raised a flag in the world that we live in and homosexual kids that are out there homosexual adults you know it can be extremely different it gold in dating you know as you get older the wrinkles ooh, the sagginess the hair you know be like you have it then you know <laughs> Old documentaries about that Hollywood, uh, Dark Phoenix, um, but you know what I mean. So that culture, all those layers, all those elements that are placed upon us as a culture, as a homosexuals, males, females, lesbians, 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 labels, all those things, transsexual people living in their own journeys, and people coming in and be like, I don't like that. <laughs> it doesn't fit into my script. <laughs> I don't like you. It's kind of like, a, you know, like a television. <laughs> like, the first transsexual. <laughs> it's just like, well, why didn't we have them before? Because they didn't fit into our scripts. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Uh, because we were not a society that was open to unconditional love and, and unity for once and for all. So what do you think? Agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful eternity.